Hey, what's up, y'all? I just got my, uh, well, I was going to go fishing today, but as you can see behind me, it got really cloudy and cold today, so I decided I'd, uh, show y'all my John boat and what I just did do it recently I'm pretty excited about, so, uh, yeah, here we go. So I don't know if y'all are familiar with the CMC tilt and trim, but there it is right there. It's an electric uh, tilt and trim. Electric hydraulic, of course. The hydraulic's right in there, as you can see right here, the hydraulic. And uh, it's this specific one is rated for uh, 35, 35 horsepower or less motors. And I got just a little 15 here on my John boat. So, uh, The wires come down here to my battery box. I haven't done anything with this uh, switch yet. I need to mount it somewhere or I'm thinking about running a piece of conduit so I can have it all the way at the front of my boat up there. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just, up, down, up. It's gonna make life so much easier for me whenever I'm in shallow water, or skinny water, you know, instead of having to muscle my motor up and I used to have to use this little pin right here, just put it at the angle I want it, but now this is going to be so much more convenient with just All I got to do is press this button. So that's the first thing I want to show y'all. Trim it all the way up real quick. Uh, the other day on the water though, I, got, I was getting up to the 23 to 24 miles per hour, but with this it gives you a sets your motor back from the transom five inches and up five and a half inches so um, the cavitation plate right there which is above the propeller it's that straight plate it should be about level with the bottom of your boat and uh, whenever I'm whenever I you know get wide open throttle and start trimming it and figuring out where exactly the motor should be I should get a couple more horsepower for sure or a couple more miles per hour for sure so should be pretty nice to get more speed but uh, I got this for $529 before tax. I forget what the price was after tax. But I mean, it's pretty pricey. Especially, you know, I mean, if you don't fish that much or whatever. But to, for me, it's worth it. Like, I do a lot of fishing and I get in shallow water a lot of the time. And I was having to lift my motor back up and put it down. And this is just going to make life so much easier for me. But yeah, let's uh, move on to the next thing I want to show y'all, which is this uh, power pole micro anchor right here. I know you've seen power poles before. They're on like, you know, your typical bass boats that you see the pros on, like Scott Martin and, you know, people like that. Brandon Polinick, all those fancy guys who's got the sponsorships. But this, this is the power pole micro, specifically made for, John, or for boats that are uh, less than 1,500 pounds in which... My John boat's only 12 foot, and with everything on it, it's well under a thousand pounds still. But uh, this thing is awesome. Like, so it comes with an eight and a half foot. I don't know if you see that eight and a half foot pole. And I know what you're thinking, like, oh, you're gonna drive around with that big old pole sticking up out of your boat. But no, what you do is, I'm gonna take it out for y'all real quick. You can take it out right here. It came with a little mounting. Let's see if I it. Came with those mounts right there. I'm gonna put them on over on that side of the boat rail right here. I'm gonna end up having the pole mounted somewhere like this, like right here, out of the way. I'm gonna put like you know one of the mounts right there, and then one of the mounts back here, and it should ride just fine. When, even whenever it's bouncing and stuff, those those uh, mounts over there should do just fine. But uh, anyway, so whenever you you know want to put your power pole in once you get to the water or whatever you unloaded your boat you got it in the water and you start in, getting in to where you need your power pole you stick your your pole eight and a half foot like i said earlier in there you uh press it down till it gets all the way seated inside there like that and it comes with this remote you can wear around your neck just like that it's on the lanyard and uh this one just got the standard up and down button but if you press it press the button once 
it just goes down a little bit. You press it twice, it goes down, power pulls you down, finds a good spot, gets it into the ground, and now your power pulled down, you're not going anywhere, shallow water anchor, and that's up to eight and a half feet, so, I mean, that's pretty good, especially for just a little 12 foot John boat. Um, also up here, you can see your battery levels. You press that button, shows you your battery level. Uh, you can adjust the anchor force. It's got up and down on this unit itself too. Um, which uh, this also, both my uh, CMC tilt and trim and my Power Pro micro anchor are into this battery box right here. And then the power pole also came with this little remote right here, which I'm going to mount probably right here on that block. It's going to be like that. And uh, it's also, it's got the up and down, but yeah, um, it's pretty cool that it comes with two remotes like that, that one and that one. And, uh, you know, whenever you, whenever you're done in that fishing spot and you want to, you know, unanchor, you just press up two times. Lift your pole up, lifts it all the way up, and then seats it back down so your pole doesn't fall. And whenever I'm running, I'll just push down a couple times, running from spot to spot or whatever. Press the down button a couple times. Right there, up probably one more. And you can run with it in there. It'll be fine. Um, but yeah guys, I've been working hard on this John boat and I put a lot of time and money into it. Uh, the first owner had some weird seats going on here. I built this deck on here, foot controlled trolling motor, the low rants hook 3X on there. This deck has a fishing compartment, or compartments for storage and everything, tackle, you know, life jackets, nets, all that good stuff. And uh, I just wanted to share my new toys with y'all since I couldn't go get on the water today but you guys let me know if you want to see any more about the boat or anything like you know in more detail you guys just uh, subscribe like comment you know do all that good stuff and uh, yeah man until next time